You know, the single biggest problem in communication is the illusion that has taken place. That's something George Bernard Shaw once wrote, and uh, it's one reason I wrote this new book. It's one reason I wanted to go live and share a beautiful Sunday afternoon in Southern California with each of you. I want to talk about the third component, the third section of my book, which is all about communication. 19 chapters, you guys. Hey, it's good to see everybody. 19 chapters of communication communication tips written by some of the best communication experts on the planet. Okay, I think communication is super important when it comes to marriage, when it comes to politics, and when it comes to social media. I can't help you out with the first two, but I can help you out with the third part, and that's communicating effectively and persuasively on social media. You guys invite in, invite in some people before I dive in. We're going to be talking about section three of my new book, The Ultimate Guide to Social Media for business owners, professionals, and entrepreneurs. It's available now on Amazon at socialmediabook.online. Lots of new reviews this weekend, you guys, by some really amazing, very kind and generous people who have read the book, they've thumbed through the book, they've gotten the book. Uh, you can check out the reviews. Hey, Andy, Andy uh, just recently picked up, uh, he actually won a new copy of the book. So it's good to see you. And what I want to do, you guys, is just dive into the third section of the book, which is actually my favorite section. This is a book of 52 chapters written by 47 top experts from around the planet. The first part of the book talks about the mindset of social media. The second part of the book talks about how to set up and use the social media platforms and understand the personality of the platforms. And then the third part of the book talks about communication effectively communicating on the platforms. And I want to just go through the third section with you. And once again, we're talking about the new book, The Ultimate Guide to Social Media, available on Amazon at socialmediabook.online. Chapter 34 is the first of 19 chapters in the third section of the new book, written by Mark Schaefer, author of Known, author of some of my favorite books that are out there, and he talks about the right, R-I-T-E formula, relevant, interesting, timely, and entertaining, entertaining, including those components when you're communicating on social media. I love how Mark has really taken the reader by the hand and using his expertise, showing you how to communicate effectively on social media. Chapter 35, written by Carmine Gallo. It's titled, The Three Unbreakable Laws of Communication on Social Media. Carmine wrote the book, Talk Like Ted. He interviewed, I think, over 200 TED speakers and shared in his book, Talk Like Ted, how to effectively communicate like a, like a top TED speaker. Well, he took some of those approaches and he fine-tuned them, he narrowed them down for my book in chapter 35, and he shares the three unbreakable laws of communicating on social media just for you. Chapter 36 is titled, and this is a great one, you guys, Want Your Creativity to Flow on Social Media? Make It More Like Sex. You guys know who wrote that chapter? My good friend, Courtney Smith Kramer, Brian Kramer's wife and partner. It's a great ch chapter. It talks about keeping things creative, keeping things fun and interesting when in sharing and engaging on social media. And you know what? I'm trying to walk my talk. That's what I'm doing right now. This is Dana Point Harbor. It's Sunday. Check this out. This is the uh, exit of the harbor out onto the Pacific Ocean. We got paddle boarders coming by, by. It's pretty cool. And I just wanted to share this with you guys. It's awesome. But Courtney wrote a very, very good chapter that I think you guys will be able to use uh, to really capture people's attention on social media. Chapter 37, 10 great ways to start your next blog post, podcast, or video by yours truly, okay? And what I did is I, I, I talked about the different ways that you can immediately grab the attention of your audience. Check this out. This is cool, check this out, you guys. Is that crazy? Look at that. It's gotta be a club of some sort. What a beautiful day to paddleboard. I know, I love this, look at that. And what it is, is we have a uh, loop. There's an island that I'm on right now, and it takes about, oh, I don't know, 45 minutes to an hour, depending on how fast you're paddleboarding, to paddleboard around uh, the island. You can come on down anytime. I know you're not too far, um, but uh, what I did is, because it's really important to immediately grab the attention of your audience, just like I did at the beginning of this 
Periscope, where I shared the George Bernard Shaw quote. Um, I talk about starting off your live streams, your social media posts when you're speaking on stage with a quote, a statistic, a question, a story, um, maybe a poem or a rhyme if you're good at that kind of stuff. There's all types of ways of immediately capturing your audience's attention and then rolling back into the content or subject matter of what you're there to talk about, speak about, write about, podcast about, or live stream about. And once again, let me just reset. I'm talking about the third section of my new book, The Ultimate Guide to Social Media. That's me, okay, on a good day. And uh, the third section is all about communicating on social media. And so I'm going through the 19 chapters with you and my guest contributing authors that are global experts on communicating so that hopefully you can have a better feel and taste for what's in the book. Uh, Chapter 38, the storytelling framework that works everywhere for everyone by Chris Lima. This is a great chapter. It, it, It lays out steps to help you be an effective storyteller. That's pretty cool. Oh, thanks for the share. Really appreciate it. I think that uh, might be Mo, if I'm not mistaken. So appreciate it, bud. Another beautiful day in Southern California. And uh, Chris really does take you by the hand and say, okay, if this is the message you want to share, these are the three, four, or five steps that you want to take to share that message. Let me, let me pull the phone back a little way so you guys can see more. Um, thanks for sharing out, you guys. If you guys like this content, tap the screen, heart it up. Really appreciate that. Right now, we're just going through the three different sections of my new book, and the third section is on communicating. Chapter 39, okay, written by the amazing Ann Miller. It's titled, Hooked, Why Metaphors Should Be Part of Every Social Media Strategy. Ann has helped me win million-dollar jury trial cases for my clients because of her metaphors. That's how powerful metaphors are. That's how much I think of Ann, and she's taking the time to share tips to show you how to create powerful metaphors. Hopefully I don't get hooked in the ear here. Hopefully uh, how to create powerful metaphors and how to use them on social media, whether you're podcasting, live streaming, or writing, you know, uh, sharing a written blog post. So chapter 39 is awesome. I really appreciate it, Ann. Chapter 40, ooh, here's another good one. I was just on a, on a webinar with John Ferrara, who's the uh, uh, founder of Nimble, okay? Good friend of mine. And John wrote the chapter, Five Strategies to Build Your Personal Brand and Professional Network. Uh, When it comes to networking, okay, and I talk about this in the new book, John's the man. He started, uh, he's one of the um, godfathers or grandfathers of CRM, okay? He had Goldmine, one of the first guys to, to create a CRM product. And with Nimble, he's rolled that out. They're the exclusive provider for Microsoft 360, their CRM provider. He's doing amazing things. But uh, John really shares the different ways to build your personal brand, to develop your personal network on social media by being an interest magnet, foster genuine relationships, listen first and speak second, which I wish I was doing, but it's hard when I'm the one initiating the Periscope, and just really put together great content to help you be more effective when communicating on social media. Chapter 41 by Chad Barr is titled, Creating Global Digital Empires. And Chad breaks out in detail how to take an issue, for example, maybe your clients ask the same 10 questions, right? You get the same 10 questions each week or each month. How to answer each one of those questions in a way where you're adding value. And I've been told that before. Yeah, I look like Bush Jr. Look at this. Let's, let's, let's look at more interesting things. Dana Point Harbor, just a gorgeous, gorgeous day. My father-in-law looks like uh, Bush Sr. Yeah, that's pretty pretty wild when you see Mike. Um, but Chad really breaks down different ways of communicating your message, uh, identifying the challenges, defining three powerful insights to help people with answering the questions or dealing with those challenges, and then inviting them to reach out and connect with you. They're fishing right here, so that's some of the some of the conversation here in the background. Chapter 42. The 313 and 4V methods to communication and your online success by Ryland Folan. The 313 method is to- very, very powerful. I just did a, a podcast with Ryan over at the Mitch Jackson Podcast.com, and he breaks down his 313 communication approach, which works offline and online. It's very, very powerful, and now it's in the book so you can learn and use the approach as early as this afternoon if you pick up the Kindle version of the book. Uh, Chapter 43, and this is 
Chapter 43, there's 19 communication chapters in the third section of the book, but chapter 43 is written by Jay Bear. You guys all know Jay Bear. And he wrote the chapter, The Five-Step Playbook for Handling Social Media Complaints. The reality with social media is that every once in a while, you're going to have someone that's not happy. You're going to have someone that's not happy with your products or services. You're going to have a competitor that's posting false information about you. You're going to have trolls that have nothing better to do than to interfere with the quality of your life and your social media efforts. And Jay breaks down a five-step approach. And by the way, Jay's the author of Hug Your Haters. You guys all know that book. Uh, that you can use to deal with challenges on the social media platforms. Chapter 44 by Dan Gingas is titled, How Professionals Can Win at Social Client Care. We all need to take care of our clients, and Dan breaks that down. He shows you how to deal with, with client and customer issues online and when to take those offline and the right way to do it. So I think that's a very, very powerful chapter you guys are going to love. Chapter 45 by Wayne Pollack. How professionals can use social media and traditional media to build your brand. And I reached out to Wayne. And once again, we're talking about The Ultimate Guide to Social Media, my new book on Amazon, socialmediabook.online. I reached out to Wayne after watching him speak at a convention. And he was sharing with a group of professionals, mostly lawyers, on how to use traditional uh, advertising to build their brand, to, uh, to do PR messages and things like this. And we talked about, can we use some of these same techniques online on social media? And he said, why not? So we talked a little bit more about it, and Wayne put together just a killer chapter, chapter 45, which embraces traditional offline media and PR with doing things online. So it's totally powerful. Nick Rishwain wrote Chapter 46, Customer and Colleague Collaborations to Build Relationships and Drive Engagement. This is totally one of my favorite chapters. It's so damn powerful. It's about writing blog posts, doing live streams, doing podcasts, and inviting your clients and customers to come in as experts, right, and participate in the project. Guess what happens when you do this? You get a whole fresh new perspective on whatever the topic or the issue is you're, you're talking about. When, they're, when you're done with your blog post, when you're done with your project, guess who they share this with? They share this with the clients and customers of their company. Okay, they share this with their social media platforms. It's just a great way to bring in new experts to help you with your content and have it distributed, assuming everyone's happy with the end, end product, to their, to their audience on social media. It's a great way to expand your sphere of influence. So thank you, Nick, for writing that chapter. Chapter 47, The Power of CRM, Managing Growth, Automation, and Your Social Media Success by David Bitten of Practice Panther. And what David did is, listen, if you use these approaches in this book, okay, The Ultimate Guide to Social Media, socialmediabook.online, you're going to get busy. The phone's going to ring. You're going to get DMs. You're going to get private messages. How do you deal with this increase in volume? And David shares some expert advice on using CRMs to manage the new business that's going to come your way, right? You want to make sure that when the phone does ring, when the emails do come in, when the DMs happen, check out these boats, that you're ready for the additional volume of business. Isn't that cool? I just love it down here. Dana Point Harbor, beautiful, beautiful day on, on January, right? Um, let me see what else we got. Chapter 48, and once again, these are the 19 communication chapters in the new book to show you how to communicate on social media. Uh, chapter 48 is the Americans with Disabilities Act, What Business Owners Need to Know When Connecting on Social Media by Hobbin Gurma. I met Hobbin at a Clio convention in New Orleans, and she's the first deaf-blind graduate of Harvard Law School, a pretty amazing human being. And Hobbin shared a chapter on what all of us need to know when creating and publishing content uh, that will help facilitate and assist the disabled. There's a certain right and wrong way to do it. She also points out some of the American Disabilities Act requirements that we all need to include in our social media efforts in 2019. So thank you, Hobbin, for, for that. Chapter 49, the cost of online bullying, cyber shaming to your business and career by Sue Sheff. Sue wrote the book Shame Nation. The forward to her book was written by Monica Lewinsky. And she, Sue shared her digital wisdom 
about being aware of online bullying, on, online shaming, uh, how to treat people correctly when you're online. She shares five takeaways that all online business owners can keep in mind when sharing content, when responding to content and complaints to avoid bullying or shaming or harming someone else's reputation and even your own reputation. So I really like Sue's chapter. Out of these 19 communication chapters, chapter 50 by John Fisher, Mastering the Art of Business Referral. So once again, we're talking about my new book, The Social Media, The Ultimate Guide to Social Media for Business Owners, Professionals, and Entrepreneurs. Really, really good. You can get it at socialmediabook.online. Uh, John is a master. He's a, he's a New York lawyer, trial lawyer, and he's a master at teaching and creating referral systems for lawyers. And I asked John, can we expand upon that a little bit and, and how can we use your referral system for all business owners, for all professionals, for all entrepreneurs? And also combine that with the social media component of the book, the digital foundation of the book and John pulled it all together for me and put together a great chapter. If you take the five pillars of referral mastery that John discusses in his chapter, chapter 50 of my book, and put that to use offline and also put that to use online, you're gonna be way ahead of the game. You're gonna kill it. Chapter 51, thinking outside your profession to build your brand on social media by Officer Mike Byers. Mike's a local Southern California police officer. Guess who contributed a chapter to the book? My buddy Mike Byers, thank you for serving and protecting and get well soon. Um, what I asked Mike to do is share with the readers how you as a business owner can expand your brand, can open up the door because of the content that you share, because of the approach you share on social media. How can you open that, up that door to create new profit centers, new business opportunities? Instead of just being a police officer, Mike has a consulting company, he's got a social media digital agency, and so he's expanded his sphere of influence, he's expanded the different ways that he's bringing income into his world through social and digital. And Mike was nice enough to share his chapter in the book. So once again, the book is The Ultimate Guide to Social Media for Business Owners, Professionals, and Entrepreneurs. It just came out, you guys can pick it up on Amazon at socialmediabook.online. Check out all the new reviews, very, very kind reviews. I appreciate it, five-star reviews, which means the world to me. And the book consists of three components. Let me just show you. This is kind of cool. And I really think you need to master all three of these components uh, to be successful on social media. Let me first say the forward to this book was written by the amazing David Merriman Scott. Uh, you guys have seen David at Tony Robbins. He's one of the one of the uh, top professional speakers, keynote speakers, and consultants, marketing experts on the planet, best-selling author, and he was kind enough to write the forward for the book. But the book's broken down into three parts, and this is my working copy, so I've got some things circled. But the first part is the social media mindset. And if you guys can see that, I think it's really important that you understand the social media mindset uh, and understand in the first chapter, it's actually chapter number two, I wrote set chapter number one, the social media mindset, but chapter number two was the go is the go-giver way to enriching your practice by who, el who else? Bob Berg. Bob Berg started the book off with sharing with everyone the go-giver mentality. And thanks for the hearts, I really appreciate that. And the reason I started this off with Bob Berg, go-giver mentality, is that's what it's all about on social media. If you're not approaching social media with that perspective, you're probably spinning your wheels and, and wasting your time. Uh, I'm not going to go through all the chapters in the first section, but we have Kim Garst, one of the top influencers on the planet, Brian Kramer sharing the H2H approach to, to digital and social media, a couple of chapters that I've written, uh, Dakota, Dakota Shane Nunley, oh, thank you very much, I appreciate you too. Uh, Shane wrote the book about marketing to, the chapter on marketing to millennials, which I think is critically important because they're using smartphones, they're using digital. We've got Joey Vitale on building a community. He's built a community on social media of 7,000 people, and he shows you how to do the same thing. We've got Mo Lilienthal writing a chapter, How Professionals Can Share Their Why on Social Media to Build Trust and Do Social Good, one of my favorite chapters and approaches to building a brand. Hey, Claudia, it's good to see you. So thanks, Mo. 
Nicholas Muir, Professor Nicola Muir, Nicholas Muir of Chapman University, talked about the global international aspects of social media. So important. We're dealing with multiple time zones, multiple regulations, multiple laws, but also multiple opportunities. So that's super important. And then Shama Hyder, that's fine, no big deal. We're good. It's real time. And then Shama Hyder wrote wrote the chapter on if you're looking for a social media agency, she's got one of the top agencies around and she shows you and tells you what to look for when it comes to finding and eventually hiring a social media agency if you decide you don't want to do it yourself and you want someone else to kick in and do it for you. The second component of the book is how to use social media platforms. We show you how to set them up. We show you and teach you about the personalities of the platforms. I've got some of the leading experts on the planet. And I'll do another uh, Periscope on that particular chapter, on that particular section, because there's, you know, there's like 20 chapters in that section. And then once again, the third part of the book is this last part of the book on communication, which is really what I wanted to do today's Periscope about. And so, listen, here's the deal. If you want to be successful on social media, you've got to selectively and transparently, but strategically show your human side. You've got to add value. You can't waste time. You've got to be on the platforms that your clients and customers or people that are interested in your message are on. You've got to keep it interesting like I am right now, hopefully. This is Dana Point Harbor. It's just gorgeous down here. Check that out. Is that pretty cool? It's just beautiful. And you have to understand that what works on Twitter may not work on LinkedIn. May not work on LinkedIn. What works on Instagram might not be the best content for Facebook. So thank you for retweeting out Claudia. Amazing singer, amazing entertainer. You guys follow Claudia. She's doing cool things. We met on live video, right? So this, this is a testament to how social media works. Um, so Claudia, I don't know if you got a copy yet. I sure hope you already got your copy. The Ultimate Guide to Social Media for Business Owners, Professionals, and Entrepreneurs. Social Media Book Down Online. It's a great book, and Claudia is doing many of the things that we recommend, and the 46 other experts from around the world recommend if you want to build your brand on social media. So kids, my name is Mitch Jackson. You guys can get my book, Set Yourself Up for Success in 2019. When I speak around the country at different conventions, Claudia says, thanks Mitch, I've learned so much from you. Oh, thank you Claudia, I've learned a lot from you too. If only I could learn how to sing like you. That would make my 2019, but it's never going to happen. I just don't have the vocal cords. She says, great book. Thank you, Claudia. Appreciate it. Uh, we've got, uh, boy, I can't read the name, but it says, thanks, Mitch. I've learned so much from you. Thank you. I really appreciate it. I've learned a lot uh, from all the experts that contributed chapters to the book, so I appreciate that. Um, what I want to do is when I'm speaking around the country, you guys, I see some amazing people trying to figure out social media. And they're not going about it the right way and it kind of breaks my heart and that's that's really the reason I wrote this book because they've got a beautiful song to sing they've got great content and information they can share that's going to help other people avoid problems be successful whatever you know whatever the message is but they're not going around creating and publishing that content the right way <clears throat> so about a year ago I, I, I took a step back and I'll be honest with you guys I started to write the book myself but it was just too overwhelming. And those of you who know me, you know I'm still a full-time trial lawyer. Uh, keep singing your song, Mitch. Well, I'll sing my song. It's just that no one's going to want to hear it, Claudia. Um, and I realized, you know, this, this project was a little bit bigger than just me. And that's why I reached out to friends of mine, some of the top social media, communication um, people on the planet and ask them to share specific chapters for the book, so that's what we've done. So, in wrapping things up, you guys, there's three sections to the book, the mindset of social media, the social media platforms, and how to communicate on those platforms. The top experts in the book, to Tony Robbins, which is kind of cool. Top experts at the book shared their tips just for you, just for social media. It's now available on Amazon, very reasonably priced, both in Kindle and paperback. And there's one thing I didn't say, and I should have said this at the very beginning. The Audible version of the book is coming out in February, in a couple of weeks. We have a top voice uh, professional doing the Audible. 
first class, first rate. I can't wait. I can't wait to hear Rich Miller's version of the book. If you guys aren't following Rich Miller on Twitter, go to my Twitter feed, at Mitch Jackson. I'm tweeting back and forth with Rich because here's what he's doing. As he's doing each chapter, he'll do three or four chapters, and then he'll jump on Twitter, and he'll do a shout-out to the authors that he did the Audible chapters on. Rich told me, and he's told everyone on Twitter, uh, great Audible books, awesome. I know I love Audible books, especially when I'm running and working out and paddleboarding down here. I'll listen to Audibles all the time. But Rich is letting the authors know what he's learned from them while reading and producing their chapter. And I think that's really cool, right? We can all learn a lot. We can all, every day, we can learn something new. So one thing I've learned is that a little bit too much of Mitch is frankly too much of Mitch. And I probably am pushing the limits here, but I had 19 chapters of communication tips I wanted to share with you guys. And frankly, that's what today's Periscope is all about. Plus, I haven't been on Periscope in a while, and I wanted to just kick the tires on the platform and just say hi to everybody and wish everyone a happy 2019. So if you guys have any questions, reach out to me at streaming.lawyer. Reach out. If you want to see pictures of people uh, with the book, some testimonials, uh, some really fun picks, actually, go to to, uh, streaming.lawyer forward slash the hyphen book. So streaming.lawyer forward slash the hyphen, right in the middle, book. It'll take you to some pictures that people have posted with the book in their hand. I think that's kind of cool. And uh, connect with me on Twitter at Mitch Jackson. Um, Let's see. I can't see that, Claudia. Get to connect live, Mitch. Yes, absolutely. Connect live. We... uh, I'm live all the time. So if you go over to streaming.lawyer, that's the best way to connect. Uh, that's right. We've got the uh, the full blood wolf moon tonight. I might have to actually do another live stream with the moon in the background. That might be kind of cool. Um, but listen, you guys, the feedback on the book has been excellent. If you've read the book and haven't let, yet shared your rating and review on Amazon, I'd, I'd, I'd uh, sincerely appreciate it. You can go to Amazon, just type in my name, Mitch Jackson. That'll take you to the paperback or Kindle version and, you know, leave your feedback and it would mean the world to me. All right. I've got stuff to, I've got to get done today. We've got some NFL playoff games this afternoon. And uh, thanks for your time. For those of you that stuck through the, the entire Periscope, I owe you one and I appreciate it. Get my new book, The Ultimate Guide to Social Media for business owners, entrepreneurs, professionals and entrepreneurs. And if you're like me, you're all three, right? I'm all three. So there you go. Thank you, you guys, and make each day your masterpiece. Bye-bye, everybody.